Hello. What to sow in June? I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. What seeds can I sow in June? <laughs> well, there are masses of seeds to plant in June. So I'm going to do a, a quick run through of some of them. And you can also sow most of the seeds I talked about for May. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description. As always, I'll start by reminding you that you'll need to adjust your sowing times according to where you live. For most areas in the UK, June is a great month for sowing all the tender plants that you want to. And in other parts of the world, uh, it's just warming up uh, in the northern states of America, in the most southerly states in America. It's probably now beginning to get too hot to grow a lot of these and you'll need to wait until later in the year. And in Australia, as the weather cools down and you're heading into uh, autumn and winter, uh, now will be the time uh, you'll be sowing the more leafy vegetables that won't grow in the summer heat. We garden in South East Wales in the UK. And that works out equivalent to uh, the US hardiness zone 8B, but that's only a, an approximate guide to the lowest temperatures that we'll get uh, in, the, in the winter. It doesn't really describe uh, what the microclimates are like here. We have a really nice mild microclimate here uh, and we're very fortunate that uh, a lot of our plants flower uh, very early and they continue growing so quite late in the season. Let's start with beans. Uh, you can sow runner beans and French beans direct into the ground. Uh, so I'm going to be sowing uh, a dwarf French bean. This one's called purple teepee. Uh, I've also uh, sown a yellow bean. Uh, it's called Senesta. And I'm also growing some climbing French beans called Necker Gold. And to keep a succession uh, of beans to be able to pick uh, throughout the summer towards the end of the month, uh, I'm going to be sowing these little ones and these are yin yang beans and uh, this is also a dwarf bean. So I will have several sowings uh, to give me more picking and more choices throughout the summer. All the seeds that I'm talking about today can be direct sown into the ground and the next one uh, is beetroot. Uh, I've got two different types that I'm going to be sowing today. Chogia, which has a pink and white candy stripe when you cut into it. Nalvro mono, uh, which is a dark red one. But I also grow Bolt Hardy uh, and Cylindra and towards the end of the month I'll be sowing some more of those. If you haven't already sown leaf beet uh, you can put those in now uh, but you can also sow them for successional planting. Uh, I grow a lot uh, of leaf beet because uh, I like to use them in salad and I also use them in veg boxes. You can sow Calabrese seeds. Now Calabrese is, uh, it's a broccoli. It's the one that we buy in the supermarkets with the big heads uh, of big florets, as opposed to broccoli, which has uh, the long, thin, smaller uh, florets uh, and you, you get multiples of them on each plant. So Calabrese uh, is a really nice, uh, fairly quick growing brassica. Uh, we can get this in now, we'll be harvesting it uh, by the end of summer and early autumn. I'm going to make two sowings uh, of Calabrese, uh, one now and one in about three weeks time just to stagger the harvesting because I don't want uh, masses of Calabrese to come all at once. I want to be able to harvest it over uh, a longer period. Carrots can also be sown. I'm going to put in some yellow and some purple carrots this week. And then in about three weeks time, uh, I will sow a couple more rows of something like a Chantenay red core so that I can keep on harvesting the carrots <laughs> right throughout the year. Now is a good time to sow Chinese cabbages and uh, kohlrabi. I'll be doing a couple more sayings of kohlrabi. Uh, I did some earlier in the year. Quite a few of them uh, have been nibbled by slugs and I do want to have some, so I will be uh, sowing some more. And now is a good time uh, for cucumbers, courgettes and marrows. Uh, I grow a variety called Space Master 80. I really like it because we've been joined by some birds and they're being very loud. <laughs> so, I grow, grow, so I grow this variety. Um, it grows to about three feet tall. Uh, it's, so it's a compact uh, plant. But the cucumbers are grown to about six to eight inches long, uh, which is absolutely adequate uh, for just the two of us in our kitchen. The courgettes I'm growing this year uh, are called Gold Rush, uh, Nero de Milano uh, and Green Bush. Courgettes, cucumbers, marrows and squashes uh, all start by sending out uh, this one rounded leaf, uh, which is the seed leaf. 
and then they start sending out their true leaves and if you want to know which direction the plant is likely to eventually grow in uh, whichever way the first true leaf comes out they seem to grow uh, in the opposite direction so you'll get one leaf here and then the next one will come this way and that's uh, the direction the plant generally will grow in please don't hold me to that but that seems to have been our experience here don't forget to continue uh, sowing lettuces uh, i'm going to be sowing a lolo rosso i've got some little gems that i've just sown uh, and also uh, some mixed leaves uh, including uh, three different color uh, romaine lettuces Peas can be sown uh, direct into the ground. I have this huge envelope <laughs> of seeds. Uh, there's, there's very few left, uh, but I will be sowing those. For an early harvest, I sowed uh, some peas undercover in the polytunnel uh, in the middle of March. Uh, they are now uh, producing masses and masses of mange too. I, I can't pick them fast enough. <laughs> so my lesson is I need to stop sowing quite so many and just sow fewer pea seeds at a time and more often. Radishes are a really quick uh, and simple crop to grow. Uh, seed to harvest, about three to four weeks. Uh, and I have a whole variety of seeds here, different colours. So there's the there's the one that we all recognise uh, as a, what I call a Peter Rabbit uh, radish. Uh, there's one that's slightly different. It's got slightly less white on the end. Uh, there's a red one and that's like a globe shape. Uh, and likewise, there's a little white one. Um, this one, it has a white outside. It's got this little pink uh, centre. I'm really interested to see what that will be like. So we'll come back at the end of the month, have a look at those uh, when I actually harvest them. Uh, and then I found this one uh, called Viola, and it's actually a purpley colour. Now, I won't be sowing uh, very many of these at any one time because I'm going to be growing such a wide variety of them. Mid-May to mid-June is the perfect time uh, to plant Swedes. I think elsewhere they're called Rutabaga. I didn't have much success with them last year. Uh, I think I planted them too late and didn't water them enough. So this year I'm going to be trying a variety called uh, Wilhelmsberger. Fingers crossed uh, that I have more luck with my Swedes this year. You can also sow uh, purple sprouting broccoli now. Uh, this is to harvest uh, next spring uh, and this particularly uh, during the hungry gap. So a really valuable one to sow. I've got some in the ground that I sowed earlier in the year uh, to give me a harvest uh, before Christmas, hopefully. Sowing some now means that I should be able to harvest uh, in February, March and even going on into April. You can sow sweet corn uh, direct into the ground. They come up looking almost like a little blade of grass. Uh, and then it doesn't take very long before they're romping away. Both summer and New Zealand spinach can be sown. I'm going to go a variety called Medania. Now I don't grow it for the uh, mature leaves, I grow it for the baby leaves, so I sow uh, little and often. So I harvest it by cutting off uh, the young leaves and I can do that three or four times and that gives enough time for the next sowing of seeds uh, to get to the point where it's ready to harvest. And you can also sow turnips. Uh, I've tried uh, this variety but it's an F1 so I can't collect the seeds from it. It's very nice, I like the taste, um, but I'm now going to be sowing uh, this one, which is called Goldana. I'm not sure how different the different varieties taste, so I'm doing a bit of an experiment this year with growing some different varieties so I can actually do a comparison. In this very uh, hot and dry weather that we're having at the moment, uh, I'm creating the drill to sow my seeds, then I'm watering the drill before I sow the seeds uh, so that there's some moisture below them uh, and then giving it a light water once I've covered them over. I don't want all of those seeds to start germinating and then dry out and not get any further uh, because of lack of water. So to start off with, uh, I am trying to keep the seed beds moist. Once they've germinated, I give them one more water and then I'm just letting them get on with it. And one of the reasons for doing that is it will make those little plants put down a really good root system uh, as it's searching for water at a lower level. And that will give you a stronger, healthier plant. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or both. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one and I also hope 
I'll join me again next time.